Good morning, reception, and welcome to your last week of phonics for this half term, OK? So we are just going to do three different reviews this week. We've got Fred today. We also have Leonardo today. So let's see if you can impress them and remember all of the sounds that we have done so far. So we are going to start with the sounds that you already know. So these are just the special friends that we are going to do. So I want you to say the sound when you see them. OK, so off we go. Ink, lovely. A. Ink. Qua. Well done. Ow. Or ah sh o air i e u a a Oi. Fantastic. Let's see if you can be even quicker this time, OK? And I'm not going to help you this time, so off you go. Good job, Middles, uh, um, reception, sorry. Well done for remembering all of your sounds. You are now going to need paper and a pen. I have a whiteboard and a whiteboard pen, but you can use paper and a pen as well. So I'm going to say um, a sound and you are going to write it down. I'm also going to write it down um, after you have written it down, just so you know that you have got it correct, okay? So... Our first sound is A. So A, may I play? Can you write down that sound? Okay, so A, may I play, should look like this. We have an A, ah, and then we have a Y. Yeah. Don't forget to underline your special friends. Fantastic. The second sound is O, oh, blow the snow. Good job. Your O oh should look like this. We have an O oh and a W. O, oh, blow the snow. And our last sound that we are going to practice writing is E, what can you see? Good job, that was an easy one. We have two S. And then don't forget to underline your special friend. Perfect, fantastic. So we are going to try and write a word with A in it. A word with O and a word with E in it. So let's start with A. We are going to try and spell the word play. Play. Will you show me how many Fred fingers we are supposed to have in play? Good job. We need three Fred fingers. Pinch the sounds in play. P. L. A. One more time. P -l -a. Good job. Pause the video and write down play, please.
Oh, I hope you finished writing play. Let's see if you have got it correct. So my first sound is p. Then I need a l. Last sound, a. Underline my special friends, okay? If you have spelled play like that, give yourself a tick for p, a tick for l, and a tick for a. So moving on to our sound with O in it, we are going to try and write snow because it snowed last week. So we are going to try and write snow. So Fred Fingers, how many sounds are there in snow? Good job. There are three sounds in snow. Pinch the sounds. S-N-O. Snow. Write it down. OK, let's try and spell snow together. So we have s n and o at the end. Don't forget to underline your special friends. Give yourself a tick if you've got s. Give yourself a tick if you have n. And give yourself a tick if you have o. Right, last one is E. We are going to try and spell sleep. Sleep. How many sounds are there in sleep? Good job. There are four sounds in sleep. Pinch the sounds in sleep, please. S, l, e, p. Sleep. Pause the video now and write it down. OK, I hope you've written down sleep. Let's see if you've got it correct. So we need a s to begin with, an l, an e, and then p, s, l, e, p. So give yourself a tick if you've got s. Give yourself a tick if you've got l, a tick if you've got e, and a tick for p, s, l, e, p, sleep. Fantastic. And that concludes our spelling for today. So we are going to move on to some reading, OK? So reading is going to be a little bit different today. We have a storybook and it is called Pick It Up. In this storybook, there are three short stories um, and I'm going to ask you to pause the video at different times for you to have a chance to read it. Then we will try and read it together and then we will move on. And there are some questions as well. OK, so pick it up. So the first thing I would like you to do is pause the video now and try and read the green words for me, please. So pause the video now. Fantastic. OK, I hope you've had a chance to read the green words. Let's try and read them together. So let's do Fred talk. Yes. Yes. Sock. Sock. M-S. Mess. V-S-T. Vest. p -I Pick up, up at that and it, it. Good work reception. OK, so it is called Pick It Up. That's our first story. So I'm going to ask you to pause the video now and try and read our first page then we will try and read it all together. So pause the video. Great work. Let's try and read it all together. P -ick. Pick up, up at that 
sock, sock, pick up that sock. Y, e, s, yes. Good job. Let's move on to the second page. So pause the video now and have a turn reading that. Good work. Okay, let's try and read it together. P ick. Pick up up at that vest best. Pick up that vest. Y -s. Yes. And the last page. Pause the video now and have a turn reading that. OK, good work. P -ick. Pick up, up, at, that, m -s. mess. Pick up that mess. Good job, reception. So I'm going to ask you a few questions about that story. Hopefully you can remember them. So the first question is, what does the boy pick up first? So I put you back on the first page. What does the boy pick up first? Great job. He picked up a sock first, OK? So pick up that sock. That was the first thing he picks up. The second question is, what does the boy say to his mum at the end of the story? Good work. He says, pick up that mess. And then what does your mum or your dad ask you to pick up off your bedroom floor? Now, that's one for you to think about. What does your mum or your dad ask you to pick up off the floor in your bedroom or just around the house? Good work. OK, so let's move on to our second story. Well done for answering those questions. So same again. Pause the video now, try and read the green words. OK, let's try and read them together. Six, six, red, red, big, big, snap, snap. In, in, p -ink. pink, long, long. And then we've got root words. So we have r at rat, which turns into rats. We have h at hat, which turns into hats. We have k r o Croc, which turns into crocs. Then we have sock, sock, which turns into socks. OK, so this story is called Snap, Snap. So here is the first page. Will you pause the video now and try and read that first sentence for me, please? Good work. Let's try and read it together. Six, six, p ink, pink, rats, rats, in, in, b -ig, big, red, red, at, hats, six, pink, rats, in, big, red, hats. Next page, pause the video now and try and read that sentence for me, please. Good job, well done. 
So let's try and read it together. Six, six, er, ed, red, k, er, ox, crocs, i, n, in, l, o, n, long, p, i, n, k, pink, s, ox, socks. Six red crocs in long pink socks. You are doing so well. One more page. Pause the video now and try and read that. Good work. OK, so it says snap, snap. Oh, if that says snap, then I guess that one is snap and snap. So snap, snap, snap. Lovely. So questions about the story. We have how many rats are there? So I'll put you back on the first page. How many rats are there? Good. There are six pink rats. Lovely. The second question is what are the crocs wearing? What are the crocs wearing? Well done, guys. They are wearing long pink socks. Long pink socks. And the last question is one for you to think about. It is, what sort of things do you like dressing up in? So you can have a think about that. What kind of things do you like dressing up in? OK, and then the last story is this chimp can run. OK, so pause the video now and have a go at reading our green words for this story. Lovely. OK, so let's go through with them together. W -i -n, win. N can at that R -a -n, run K -l -ap, clap is this G -r -i -n, grin Ch -i -m -p, chimp. OK, let's move on to our story. You have done so well so far. Good job. So pause the video now and have a go at reading that first line, OK? Lovely. So let's read it together. Is this ch -i -m -p, chimp k -a -n can run this chimp can run this chimp can run so pause the video now and have a go at reading these two sentences as well good job let's read it together at that ch -i -m -p, chimp k -a -n, can g -r -i -n, grin that chimp can grin is this ch -i -m -p, chimp k -a -n, can k -l -a clap this chimp can clap and the last page pause the video now and have a go at reading that good job let's read it together at that ch -i -m -p, chimp k -a -n, can w -i -n, win that chimp can win 
fantastic reading reception. So questions for the last story. What can the first chimp do? Good job. That chimp, well, this chimp can run. So that was the first chimp and he can run. The second question is, what three things can the other chimps do? Good, so they can run, um, grin, sorry, they can grin, they can clap, and they can win. Well done, reception. I am so impressed with how um, you have remembered all of your new special friends and how well you have done at your reading, okay? So tomorrow we will have a different book and we will do exactly the same thing. So well done and I will see you tomorrow.